you can take Scorpio out for dinner. That sounds simple enough. Mm-hmm. And once you have him away from home, turn it into a night on the town. Now, what's Holly going to say about all this? Nothing. She's away. So, therefore, her husband should be available. And while I'm whining and donning Robert Scorpio, what are you going to be doing? Setting the trap. Could you be a bit more specific, Anna? Why don't you just concentrate on uh, keeping our friend busy? And don't stay in one place too often. I want Scorpio unavailable for messages. All right, I'll try. You don't think that you'll have any problem getting him to go along, do you? No, it's not likely. With Holly away, I'm sure Robert will jump at the chance to go carousing with me. I'm counting on it. Ha, I was just on my way out. Oh. Are you off shopping? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I'm going to New York with Celia. Oh, that's right. Yes, you mentioned it yesterday. I envy you. Well, I'd like to stay and chat, but I have a plane to catch. I won't keep you. I've just come to pick up my things. Um, I'm moving into a hotel. Oh, when did that happen? As soon as I got my first paycheck in advance. I thought it was high time I stopped imposing on you and Robert. I didn't want to wear my welcome out. Oh, that'll never happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll miss you. Yes, I'll miss you too. You've been a very understanding friend, Holly. Thank you. And also, thank you for getting me that job with Sean. It's a great help. Oh, it was my pleasure. If there's anything you need... Mm -hmm. I'll come straight here. Okay. okay. Oh, well, take care. Yes, you too. Have a lovely trip. Yeah, I intend to. Bye-bye. about to ask you the same thing. Well, apart from the fact that I happen to live here, I forgot some papers. I know one paper that you dearly love to forget. Ian Shelton. He said he did a number on you, didn't he? To your delight, of course. No, absolutely not. I was horrified. Sure you were. Robert, believe it or not, I have a great deal of respect for you. You have a funny way of showing it. I hated to see you dragged through the mud like that. You don't deserve such a trashing. What on earth had you done to antagonize the press like I chewed out an editor who deserved a lot worse. <laughs> Tat, mm, that was never your long suit, was it? You ought to know. Well, anyway, what are you doing home from work at this hour? Donnelly come to his senses and give you the push? You wish. No, actually, I came to pack. Why? I'm moving into a hotel. What do I owe this good fortune? Well, I thought with uh, Holly going away and everything and me staying here, you know, it would just furnish Mr. Shelton with even more scandal for his newspaper. Not likely. You're safer here than you would be in a convent. Hmm. So you have been thinking about me. Don't flatter yourself. No, I have to have been on your mind for you to have said something like that. You're a dreamer. Go on, Robert. Admit it. You want me, don't you? Sure, I want you. Out of this town, and the sooner the better. Well, don't hold your breath. I'm, uh, trying for another operation, remember? You do that so well, you know. What? Flash your scar. But I don't need reminding as to what you look like and what you are. Well, we'll see, shall we? I may just... Catch you out yet. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to um, go and pack now. Oh, by the way, you don't happen to know a really first-rate plastic surgeon at General Hospital, do you?
Hmm. Should be Robert. Hello? Miss Scorpio? Yes? This is Phil Herman. It's very important I see you tonight. I'm sorry, but I don't know anybody by that name. Who are you? I'm a friend of Jack Slater's. What? Like I said, I'm a friend of Jack Slater's, and it's very important I see you tonight. I assure you I'm not meeting anyone who says he's a friend of that man. Look, I just know the guy. I'm clean. I'm not setting foot outside of this hotel, Mr. Berman. Herman's name. I don't care what it is. I think you'd be very sorry if you pass up at this chance. Well, I think I'll be sorry if I take you up on it. Now, I'm going to hang up. And now, please, please wait. don't... Just let me ask you one question. What? Your husband's been smeared in all, in all your hometown newspaper, right? Right? Right. And all the, all the East Coast newspapers have picked up the story. What, what, what are you saying? Well, this gives you a chance for, to make those newspapers eat their words. Your husband's a hero. Tell me what you mean. Well, I could bring Slater in. I could have him surrender to your husband. Don't you want your husband to be a hero? In exchange for something, of course. What is it Mr. Slater wants? Well, first, if he brings himself in, he wants to know that he won't get killed in the process. Well, I'm quite certain everyone wants him alive, Mr. Herman. Well, and he wants some kind of amnesty if he does bring himself in, and he wants to use you as a go-between. This sounds insane. I I'm just telling you what Slater told me. Now, do we have a deal or not? Well, I'd need some protection. Slater's order says you come alone. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, we could make it a public place. Uh... If you're talking about someplace like Central Park, forget it. Oh, what, about a, uh, what about a busy east side bar? Very crowded and very popular. Where? Well, there's a place about a block east of where you stand. A place called Lulu's. Yes, yes, I went past it on my way to the hotel. You prove? Uh, yes, right. Um, when? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Remember, Phil Herman's the name. How will I know you? I'll know you. Nine o'clock. I have to call Robert. He'll tell me what to do and what not to do. He won't let me do it. But I have to do it. I have to do it for him. You know what I should do? What? Fun out? Should. Nah. Damn, Anna, you look looking upset. You should call Holly in New York. What? No? Yeah, well, I'm still coherent. Oh. I got a much better idea. I think we should sit here and enjoy our drinks, and then we go to the restaurant where I made the dinner reservations, and then you call Holly. Well, start with me. I mean, I'm an agreeable fella. Good. I think we should toast Holly. To Holly. To Holly. <laughs> sit down, mates. Yeah. You know, I think that Holly's probably exhausted. So. Oh. I'm sure she she was. Mm. It's probably the old please do not disturb quiet. <laughs> you know, Holly says shopping can be very exhausting. Very tight. She often says this. Does she? Mm. Oh, and clearly tonight is our night to carouse. Yeah. <laughs> you do remember. <laughs> I think we could probably order another one of these before we That's get our idea. dinner. Hmm? That's a good idea, Sean. Good idea. I thought so, too. And then after that, we could probably go back to that front of the little bar that we started on it. You know, boy, you're just spilling over with good ideas. Well, I take it you were a game, then. Hmm. Sure. I can I can carry on with a clear conscience. Do I? <laughs> Do I? Maybe take a little smile there of anticipation. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah. Just thinking about it. How angelic she looks. She's asleep. 